two of these afterburner climaxes. This one works, obviously. The one at the arena had something spilled on it and uh, the liquid got to this middle power supply and it is missing. So what I need to do is find out what voltages are put out by this. And uh, this is AC coming in on this side and see if I can't use another power supply to mimic what this is. So let me check that and we'll see uh, what voltages we got. So we got meter here, got black lead on the black and then the red lead on the purple. And we have 24 volts coming out of this. So I need to find a 24 volt power supply. And we'll probably have to buy one because I don't, our typical power supplies only put out five and 12. So we will go on to the next game, but we know we need something that puts out 24 volts for afterburn. Next, I'm looking at Big Buck Hunter Call of the Wild. Uh, this was one of our original games that we got, and I think this is one of the games from the neutral zone that I've worked on before. I plugged it in and we got nothing, but I do remember that we stole a fuse from here for another game. So let us grab a fuse. It says here, sorry, hit the power button. Okay, so here it says, right there my finger is, it's a three amp, 250 volt fuse. So let's grab a fuse. It's probably just a fuse. I got these fuse kits from Amazon. This one's a little smaller. It is slow blow fuses, which I'm always looking for, mostly for pinball and stuff. And then I got a much bigger kit of fast blows. And I'll have a link in the description for these. And if you guys use the link to buy anything at all through Amazon, I will get a small commission. So you will be supporting the channel and I greatly appreciate it. So that's what, how many of those? And I think, let's see. Oh, I ordered separately. I also got uh, a big bag of fuse clips too. So if I can find that link, I'll post that link as well. Fuse clips are always handy, especially on the Geo 7s. But let's get a, we need a three amp fuse be right here. All right, let's throw that in and at least see if the game comes on. Okay, so I have my extension cord, a plug that needs to be replaced. There's no ground on it. It's gonna be a little dark, but that's so I can, or we can see the monitor. Okay, nothing came on there. Let me sneak back here again, and we will try to find a power switch. Let's see, let there be light. Okay, well now it sounds like it came on. This power supply sounds a little rough. The fan, anyway. We have some life on the board up there. Ooh, that power supply sounds rough. And what do we have here? Okay, checking file system number one. Doesn't look good. Hard drive detected. This can take several minutes, so let me uh, let it do its thing and then we'll pop back in and see what it says. Okay, so we have a game, got some graphic glitches here. Um, so a little bit more to play around with and find out what's up with it. Uh, let's try to coin it up here. See a quick way to coin it out. I'm sorry. Here's my flashlight. All right, the coin mech's missing, so give me just a second here. All right, I'm hoping I'm going to have you guys in a good spot. So, this power supply sounds like doo doo, and I just grabbed a new one. 
and I want to plug it in and test the voltages on it first. I'm going to try to keep you guys in the light. So let's just grab the power from the other one. I'm just going to do this without messing everything up on the inside of here. Sure, this one's turned on and on the proper voltage. 110 and no power switch. Okay, this one came from Twisted Quarter, obviously. Okay, now let's test the voltages out before we put it in the machine. He's looking at what I'm looking at. Okay. Yeah. Here you go, bud. Hang on, I'm working right now. I'm on camera. Okay. Let's find us a ground. Man, no, I, I understand that. I'm, I'm actually waiting on more right now. Uh, five so, volts. We know. could come up a little on the five. Or 4.8. I want it to be about five one, right there. Perfect. Okay. Now let me plug this in, and we'll see how this works. Side note: I'm gonna have to rewire. <laughs> no problem. Okay. New power supply installed, and we have it set at five point one volts. Seems to be working. Uh oh. Big Buck Hunter. <laughs> A little closer. I think we still have hard drive issues. I'm gonna, I don't think it'll coin up, but I'm gonna try to coin it up. But let me uh, check the connections and everything on the inside just to see if anything got bounced around. Maybe I can get it a little bit better. So it's gonna be a no go on the uh, Big Buck Hunter. Uh, looks like I'm gonna go with a hard drive or if I can find a uh, flash cart up, upgrade. But next, I'm gonna check out this Operation Wolf if I have time. Uh, the, we don't know anything about it. I think we got it for 100 or 150 bucks and the power cord's been cut off of it. So I'm gonna wire a power cord. If I don't come back in this video, that's just because I ran out of time and I wanted to post something for you guys tomorrow. But uh, hopefully we can get into this one too. So be right back or see you next one. See you on the next one. Okay, here's the <clears throat> little power cord for Operation Wolf. There's a little bit left. I'm just gonna tie, tack into this. So I'm gonna split it here. There are three wires. So it does have a field ground. And trim in between them and try to separate them. Some old lamp cord. Okay, there's one. There's two. And kind of in frame. find a power cord to put on here and solder this up and put some heat shrink on it and then we'll start the game the board's in here so it is I can move you guys <laughs> there it is it's back there so we can fire it up and see what it does okay so operation wolf doa after a new uh, power cord so we probably robbed fuses from it and it's obviously missing the mirror in the back as well uh, so it's going to need some work before it's floor ready anyway but we did get some parts in we got the 
relays for the crane to get that going. And uh, I'm gonna start on this Street Fighter pinball and then jump and try to work on this uh, caveman pinball too as we're going along too. Still got the Donkey Kong Jr. I got the power supply to work and next I'm gonna recap the monitor and make sure it's all good to go. I'm gonna stick around to the next one. I think tomorrow I'll have a walkthrough of the mall location. So these two right here are gonna be ground and five volt. So what do we get here? Did I not turn the game on? I didn't turn the game on. I guess that would help. Hang on. Here it is. A nice little trade. The person I traded got what they wanted. I got what I wanted. And a pretty good deal on it, too. Why did I get what I want? <laughs> <laughs> that comes later. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's, it's on fire. What happened? Whoa. Lots of smoke. Well, that's bad. Yeah, well, thanks for watching. <laughs> when you take care of people, people take care of you in this community. That's the truth. So everyone, please remember that. Even if we're competitors, we're not enemies.